Okay, boys and girls, for this one, I am taking a lid, a peanut butter lid in my case. It could be about that size. You could use a glass, you could use a bowl, and I'm going to use it for a tracer. I'm going to draw all the way around it. I'm going to also draw around a uh, paper, and I'm going to do that twice. So I'm going to do it once here, just like that, and then I'm going to do it a second time right next to it. I will cut all of those out and I'll come right All right, back. so now I'm going to glue these, uh, my paper to the cardboard. So I'm just going to glue them right on. Isn't that funny? I don't have a glue bottle here at home. I just have that big jug. So I'm going to glue these on like that. Okay, uh, smooth them down. Make sure they're nice and even. And now comes the fun part. I am going to color them. I want it to be lots of color, but it can have a little bit of white too. And I'll come back and I'll show you why. Okay, the easiest way to do this is to do a color wheel. So um, I'm just going to take my black marker and then I'm going to make an X in the middle. Okay, and then I'm going to divide that X. I'm gonna make another line this way. And then I'm gonna make another line this way. And then I'm going to color each of those little uh, pie slices a different color with my markers. So here you go. I'm just gonna color each one in. Here we go. And then I can do the same thing on the back. All right. This side has eight pie slices. This side has six. Okay, with the six, you just draw a line down the middle and instead of making an X, you draw, you draw one line across here and you draw one line across here. So um, they're just a little bit different X's, eight and six. And then now what I'm going to do, and you'll need uh, mom and dad's help for this for just a second. Uh, I'm going to carefully take my little screwdriver and I'm gonna put a hole in it right here, just like that. And then I'm gonna put a hole over here, just like that. So two holes in the middle Okay, I wanna put the hole in. I've got that ready to go. And now I'm gonna get some string. So boys and girls, I'm going to put string through the two holes. I've already put one end through this hole. And now I'm going to put the other end through this hole. The string's gonna be about three feet long. I'm gonna just kind of poke this through. I'm gonna use this to poke it. Just like that. And then I'm gonna come over to the other side. And I'm gonna pull it. So now I have this string. One has a loop on it this way. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to tie the other two ends together on the other side so that I have one long loop with this colorful disc in the middle. There we go. I knot that and now I'll show you what it's Okay, like. so boys and girls, my contraption looks something like this. These are knots in mine because I actually looped a bunch of strings together all the little pieces I could find. So it looks like this, goes through both sides, and then I've got a loop on my fingers like this. And now I'm gonna wind this wheel up. Wind it, 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 wind it. And then look. Wind it, 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 wind it. Pull, and then it spins. So that is kind of fun. Uh, little spinner, little spinner disc.